Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a virtual pedal board for your entire stomp section, as well as a different one for your entire effects section on your Kemper. These stored pedal boards will be transferable to any other rig you have. What we're going to do is show you how to save your stomps, as well as your effects, into the Kemper so that you can transfer from rig to rig. Now this particular rig has groupings of stomps that I particularly like, so we're going to start off by saving our effects by holding the effects button until it blinks. Turn the browse knob. I already have one store, but we're going to do a new one, so we hit the store button. Now it asks us for the section or the entire rig. We want to take just the effects section. It's going to ask us what we want to call it. We'll call it clean 2. Go back to our store button. Okay, now we have just stored clean 2. So let's exit out of there. We also want to store our stomp section. So we hold our stomps till it flashes. Once again, grab the browse knob. I do have one there already. We're going to add a new one. So we hit the store button. Stomp section, yes. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to call it stomps 2, or clean stomps 2. Hit the store button. Now you'll see we have our clean stomps and our clean stomps too. So let's exit out of here and go to a generic Kemper file that comes on the Kemper library. So what we want to do is transfer our favorites onto this particular rig. So we hold the effects button down, we turn the browse knob, there's our clean and our clean two. Now if there's only one in there, you need to turn the browse knob to activate it which will then bring them all up. In this particular instance, clean two. We have it on auto load, so it will automatically, as I scroll down through them, change. Okay, so we have our effects loaded. Now you can see all of my effects were loaded. Stomps are blank. Let's add the stomps from my favorite section. We hold it till it blinks. We turn the browse knob. We have stomps two. And once again, I had to turn it to activate it. And they have been loaded now, so we just hit exit. So acoustic now has all of my stomps. They are at the same settings. Now remember, just like any other rig, if you make changes, you need to save them to come back to them later. I want to show you one other thing. When you do hold your effects down, it will take you to the menu that shows everything that is currently active, uh, dark or in lighter gray when it is inactive. But you can go in here and adjust the major feature of that particular effect or stomp as you're playing. Sometimes that can be an easier way to make quick adjustments on the fly. It works, of course, with both of your effect section and your stomp section effect. And that's how it's done. Yeah. So that's how you create a portable effects board as well as a portable stomps board for your Kemper. Thanks for watching.